Hello community! In my last video we were talking about where LLMs hit a logic wall. And you responded, hey, try out Pi from Inflection AI. And I said, okay, let's do some additional tests. And you know, in my last video I showed you here, if we have this task, and then we have this task where we just move the linear position of a sentence, but otherwise leave it completely identical, our primary AI systems fail. This was published by Google DeepMind and Stanford University on February 14, and published on Google uh, February 15, 2024. Now, I said, okay, let's do this here in Pi. And I put in here the first, and it got the right answer. And then I put in here the modified text, where the position here of the sentence, the ring was also, has also yellow cost shifted one sentence before. And it got also the right answer. And I remember you said, hey, wait, you have to get out of the system and get back into the system. So I choose another browser. I choose another IP address for me. I put in now here the modified prompt and it got 23 yellow cars, which is perfect. This is the correct answer. So P, yes, I'm listening now to my subscriber. Got it right. But you know what? I also have to tell you that Gemini is in the last days improving significantly. So here you have Gemini February 23rd. This is when I'm recording this. And now it can solve this problem. It could not solve here on February 14. And I also checked with GPT-4. And you see the trick? This is new. I did the same just four days ago. And it was analyzing here in text. But now to solve this simple problem here, ChatGPT goes to Python. It converts the human text in a Python structure and gets it right. So on February 23rd, also ChatGPT4 is able to solve this problem by learning not to argue in a human language pattern, but to translate this to Python. That's an interesting path we will examine closer. But hey, P, yeah, P, logical reasoning. So we go there and I say, okay, let's do another example from my last video. You know this, here, correct for the sorted one. And if we do shuffle it a little bit, but it leave absolutely identical semantic content, there is an incorrect solution. So I said, okay, with P, here we have now on the right side P, the conclusion, Alice is woos. And you know, this is the correct answer that I was looking for. So I said, okay, so for the linear, it works. But what about for the shuffled version? And I got the conclusion, Alice is woos. And I said, amazing. I got another correct answer by Pi. This is true what my subscriber are telling me in the comments. And then I started as a theoretical physicist to analyze the answer. So if the conclusion is Alice is woos, and step 21, the last step is, if DAX then woos, we just go back to the binary decision tree and say, okay, we look now for DAX. And here in step 19, we have then DAX. So we examine if knife and human AG, then DAX. So let's have a look at this. Let's focus here just on AG. AG is a given fact. So yes, Jack, this is true. So we have a sentence, if A and B and C, then D. So now we have C. Let's focus on A, if knife. Let's have a look at this. Where is knife? Here, step 17, Alice is knife. And we look for knife, and we look for knife. We look for knife and we say, okay, maybe it's in the facts, but in the facts, Alice is knife. No, there's no Alice is knife. And you so say, okay, so it must be deducted in the logical pathway because we are here in step 17. So we just go there and we have here, look, and it says, yeah, here, here in the rules, we have two times knife, but here we have it here on a position C and here we have it on a position A but we need it to be here a conclusion. 
And this is where we notice that this here fails. What Pi does, it invents a fact. It invents that Alice is a knife. It cannot deduct it from the facts that is given, and it cannot deduct it from the rules that is given. So therefore, P invents a fact during the causal augmentation. And if we have a query like, is Alice Woos? Yes or no? So we have a 50-50 chance, then, although it is the correct answer by Pi, as my subscriber here <coughs> mentioned, yeah, but this is just on a 50-50 chance. And if you analyze here the causal argumentation chain, you find out it's hallucinating. So the correct answer does not mean that the system is working. <laughs> yeah, uh, by the way. I got comments. Hey, the machine is always right. But we, we as humans, we as human species, we just don't get it. And we have to adapt to the machine. I would say this is a little bit strange and it's not the scientific way. And then I get one. Hey, the machine has an advanced grammar structure that this YouTuber, this is me, does not understand. And you are right here. I, as a YouTuber, I'm not a native English or American-speaking native. No way. This is the reason why I present you here the scientific publication by Google DeepMind and by Stanford University. Okay, out of the way. Beautiful. There was an example you commented a lot of, and this was the homework example. You see, this is it. Here we have the original, timely, causal chain. And then we just reorder here two sentences, just the position of two sentences. So let's have a look at this. I just go to the reordered and I have here pi and I put this in. So you have here one to one. Please check that is absolutely identical. And here you have the response of pi. And pi tells us, hey, since the probability cannot be greater than 100, and I just calculated that the probability is here 102%, please double check the provided percentages. So Pi comes back and says, hey, your task description, no, no way. There must be something wrong in the task that you want me to perform. So, you know, Pi fails. However, you know, this is not a scientific analysis, but I always do at least 10 times that I have a feeling for the system. And on the seventh time, I put in the same identical prompt and I ran this for the seventh consecutive time on different machines with different IP addresses, with different browsers, and so on. I got this. And this now is much nicer. I mean, the result that there's a 76% chance that Marcus will have to turn in his homework is wrong. But there is on the right track. So you see? Interesting side effect, but never mind, even the seventh try is wrong. Pi fails. And then there was this example with abstract logic, and this was something nice, and you commented on this quite a lot of. So I showed you here from the publication from Google DeepMind and Stanford University that GPT 3.5 Turbo, our beloved chat GPT, is hallucinating rules and is hallucinating facts. So on this exact example, I took it, you can imagine this here today, February 23rd, and I put this in Pi. Pi, here you have it, step one, step two, step 15. And the conclusion was Alice is rope, because the query was, is Alice rope, given those rules and those facts, so a simple logic deduction. And the answer is by Pi. The answer is true. Now you know if we do the same logic backward tracking of our causal decision tree or whatever you will call it. So if Alice is Wope, then we have step 15 and Wope. So we look now at half. We look at so if half, so we look something where the conclusion is half. So we have step 13, if Ribe, then half. But Ribe is not a conclusion in none of those sentences that is the augmentation path by Pi. So, again, hallucination by Pi. Beautiful. 
And then, of course, the other example here, and I took exactly the same text and I put it in, and now we get 11 rules. And the conclusion by pi is Alice is Joan. So the query is Alice Joan, a 50 50, yes or no, was answered by pi true. Now, I leave it up to you to go through <laughs> the logical cycle. You know how to do this. However, the result is that pi also hallucinates. So the new insight today is hey, Google and OpenAI are now converting logic statements to code statements, which is interesting in itself. So maybe we should have a look how to convert logical statements into Python code and use here the code engines that our AI systems have. Because you know also Gemini Pro now has a Python environment included. So if we combine this insight now with the new topic for the video tomorrow, it will be about AGI. 